Hey Helen, um, it's Michael. I, uh, I got a quick question for you. I was looking at the call sheet for everyone for the reunion next month, and I couldn't help but notice that somebody was missing. Oh, really? That's weird. Maybe they're in the computer. Uh, who are you looking for? Amelia Snow. Michael, please tell me someone told you. Evidently not, Helen. What's going on? Oh, Michael. Amelia was in a car accident two years ago. She's in a coma now. I'm still out, and I'm not sure how much longer her family's going to be able to afford home health care. I'm sorry, Michael. I know how much you loved her. Maybe you should go see her. What? Michael, you obviously have something to say or else you wouldn't be calling. I did some digging and studies show that sometimes comatose patients can hear what their loved ones are saying while they're sleeping. Who knows? Maybe you'll wake her up. Excuse me. Can I help you? Hey, Mr. Snow. Mikey! <laughs> how the heck are you? Holy cats! I'm doing good. How are you? Um, I'm good, you know. I mean, oh, by the way, you can just call me Frank, all right? I mean, you're old enough now. You've earned the privilege. Well, uh, what brings you here? I, I assume it's uh, not you dying to talk to me. No, sir. Um, is she? How is she? Well, um, well, I, uh, I always tell people she's getting better, you know, but really it's, 
just something I say to keep her mom from getting too discouraged. But if you want to come in and see her? Don't mind. Oh, not at all. I mean, I assume you still know your way back up there. Thanks, sir. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry our forever didn't last as long as we thought it would be. I'm sorry this happened. I would have never let it. I have never, ever stopped loving. Thank you. 